It wasn't very long after my 17th birthday, a beautiful summer morning in Montana. I got up out of bed and I sneaked out of the house nice and early before anybody else was awake. I walked up the hillside through the wildflowers and the pine trees to one of my favorite thinking spots, a cliffside that overlooked the entire Bitterroot Valley and the community of my childhood. As I stood there, and I had decided already, this was the day. This was the day I was going to end all of it. My life was over. I had at that point experienced more trauma than any child should ever have to experience. Emotional, mental, physical, sexual, spiritual trauma. All throughout my childhood, I experienced abuse beyond what Kids now complain about, oh, somebody texted something bad about me. I had my head thrown in the toilet. I was physically attacked in school. I was beaten up in the locker room. And what terrified me the most is that when I was 11 years old and I was standing in the kitchen doing dishes before dishwashers were invented, or at least we weren't allowed to have one because my dad said we already had 12 dishwashers in the house, <laughs> and I was one of them. I was standing in the kitchen, and my dad and a friend of his in their mid-40s, middle-aged men, this man said to my dad, she's a good worker. Can you save her for me? And my dad said, as they walked away, sure, that can be arranged. And I knew at 11 years old, my life was over. So at 17, that had haunted me. My dad is going to give me away to Brother Fishman, as I call him. And as I went out to the edge, I closed my eyes and I spread my wings and I envisioned a swan dive into the rocks below. And a voice in my head said, what if they're wrong? What if everything you've ever been told about anything is a lie? What if there's a better life waiting for you out there? That was enough for me to stop. I pulled myself back from the edge. And obviously, I didn't jump. <laughs> and I decided right then and there that I was going to prove them wrong about me. Everything in my life had been wrong. Most of all, what I thought about myself. But in that moment, I didn't have courage. I didn't have confidence. I had no clue about conscious choice, or choice for that matter. But I had two things. I had resilience. And I had a dream of a better life. That resilience saved my life because I wasn't going to let them break me. And one thing I've discovered in my lifetime is that life happens, what we do with it matters. So I ran away from home. I figured out how to make life myself. I didn't have any mentors. I didn't have any teachers. I knew nothing about money. I knew nothing about social skills. I knew nothing. I had no idea women could actually do anything with their lives. I went on to become an entrepreneur. I started and sold multiple companies. And that one thing was resilience. What I also discovered is that the more I reversed the trauma from my childhood, the more confident I became. And the more confident I became, the more successful I became. And I got to the point now where it doesn't matter. Nothing anyone can say about me matters. They can stretch me, but they can't break me. And then I discovered I have the ability to see the future, not just for myself. I had my own dream that I've been able to make come true, but now I can see the future for other people. What we do is we reverse engineer this future that I see, and then we go back and reverse the trauma from the childhood. We bring it all to this present moment, and then you can take all that reversing, and it becomes the engineer that drives your life forward. Use your stories as painful as they've been. They can become the engine that drives your dream. You can create 
any life you want when you have confidence, when you have courage, when you have conscious choice, and you know what you want, and you don't let anybody else take it away from you. You've got it in you. You have it, and you have it, and you have it, and you have it. They can't break you, because you've got it in you. And when you have the courage and the confidence, you set yourself free, and you can be everything you've ever wanted to be.